Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin'. It's D. Boss Reacts to this vid by Jamari. This is they finally got 6 9 Yikes. I did see the video. Well, I didn't see the actual video of him getting the beats, <laughs> but I did see the aftermath, and he, like, scurried out of this LA Fitness or whatever the case with his face all bloody. I did see that. Um, but if there is separate footage, I would actually like to see that. So I don't know if Jamari's gonna show us or not. Um, but I feel like a lot of people are, like, celebrating this and, like, happy that he you know, got his ass whooped because he has talked so much shit um, about people online. He's trolled so many people. He's trolled the dead. You know, he's made slick comments about Nipsey Hussle. And, like, he's just been really disrespectful and annoying uh, aside from him snitching because, you know, who really cares? He ain't snitching on y'all. Like, all right, why would you be mad about that? I think people are more so uh, happy that, you know, he got beat up because he's annoying and he has been trolling everybody so i think that's why they're happy i'm not happy or mad i don't care i am nosy so there's that anyway let's see what's happened let's watch it has been three and a half years since six nine was sentenced to two years in prison after he testified against the nine tray gang back in december of 2019 <laughs> this kid went from being a Where's nobody to being one of the biggest names in rap to behind bars in a matter of only a couple of years I remember when he was sentenced, many people predicted that he would never make it out alive because of his snitching ways in the courtroom. If Takashi 6 9 beats this case, awesome. He don't have to have oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my God. Judge Paul Engelmeyer even credited 6 9 real Did name Daniel Hernandez, for helping prosecutors send several Train 9 members to prison. And we all know now how the story played out. Thanks to a certain virus and some luck with his apparent severe asthma, only 13 months later he would be released after being described as a oh, model prisoner. Do with his Back then, people thought that. that he would likely enter the witness protection program like many others who have complied with the feds. But 6 9 would actually do the exact opposite, denying his protection and deciding to walk around as a free man, still sporting his 6 9 tattoos and rainbow hair. Your life is really my life. I don't address that. You hear me? You got one house right here, two houses right here, three houses right here, four houses right here, five houses right here. I saw a video about how all these rappers be using fake money on like their Instagrams and stuff like that. But also, it's just annoying because it's like people who actually have money, people who are like super rich, they don't need to do this. They don't need to prove to the internet that they're rich. So it's just suspicious. It's like, do you have money? Are you going broke? Like, what's happening? Because this is just like so obviously a, a gimmick. Like, you're doing this to convince us that you have money. Why do you need to do that? If you have money, then just enjoy your money. Maybe two houses right there, you feel me? He would even put out a song titled Gooba, which many consider a victory lap as 6 9 danced on the proverbial grave of his haters who wanted to see him done forever. When this came out, it broke the internet, it even broke some sort of YouTube record. But shortly after dropping his new album Tattletales, a few months after his release, the rapper would see the writing on the wall with his career, and it would become apparent that the industry would not be interested in the redemption of Daniel Hernandez. Make sure you listen to it. I will. I will. My upcoming album. Yeah. It's my album. Tattletale. What are we supposed to play? Not on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody in city. It's not like it's not hard for you to see. Like, oh my God, Takashi releases Tattletales. And it's nowhere, so right. it's not just you, the world, like people watching see it, like, oh my god, they're blackballing him, right? But the way the industry makes it look is like, Takashi puts out the album, huge flop. And so since then, you could say that 6 9 has kept a fairly low profile. Before he got locked up, he was known as the biggest troll online. And afterwards, it was like he tried to do the same thing, but did not really get the same hype at all as his gimmick was up. And people basically described all of this attention-seeking behavior as very corny. And with 6 9 denying the witness protection and him likely running low on money due to his streams lowering and basically having no ability to perform live mm -hmm. where most artists would make most of their money he was in quite the bind as many predicted he was burning through money at a massive rate constantly having to move around and hire security virtually everywhere he went 
in fear that he would get caught slipping one day out in the street. When the internet hated you most, right? When the internet was coming at you saying you're the worst person ever, did you ever have any heat on the street for it, or was everyone on the street still completely cool? No, I mean, it's fake heat, because like I said, I've been walking around by myself. And nothing bad happens, right? And it took almost three years, but it seems like it finally became a reality, as 6 9 was recently working out at LA Fitness of all places. You know, not Lifetime, not Equinox. I mean, that's how you know the money has really dried up. He's working out at LA Fitness, and he got caught lacking in the sauna of all places, where several unidentified men beat the absolute brakes off of him. Now, I cannot show the specific video due to TOS restrictions, but you can find it on Twitter. It's pretty brutal as he takes several stomps to the ribs. Oh, liver, I didn't see that one. I gotta watch it. Head. This clip I can show you, though, came from the aftermath that someone yeah, caught that's him all I saw. The There's another video. Oh, Yo, homie, I'm a, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro, I'm a fan, bro. No, I'm a fan, I'm just saying, bro. I'm a fan, bro. I know, I ain't jumping, bro, I'm just saying. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, I'm about to look. Someone telling you they're a big fan after you got your ass handed to you is crazy. Yeah, also, what's good with the Daisy Duke shorts, my guy? Yeah. While wearing that jacket, it's even weirder. Like, imagine you're just gonna go work out. Me. You know, okay. you're hitting the bench press, maybe you're running on that treadmill, and then you see this dude looking all messed up walking around. According to sources, 6 9 was then rushed to the hospital via ambulance, with his attorney noting that he had he no security him. around That's him crazy. during this incident. I mean, there is photos of his face out there, and it looks like he got absolutely romped. And at the end of his statement to TMZ, attorney Lance Lozero says that he plans to call the feds to make sure that 6 9 can now get the protection that he believes he truly needs. Either way, it is crazy to see this situation actually unfolding over three and a what half years after bag? his sentencing. Ew. Do you guys think that after this, 6 9 will truly go away forever? Personally, I think he might be on Instagram tonight talking about screw the haters. I got jumped by five puss boys. There was nothing I could do because that is kind of just in the 6 9 nature yes. to never really back down yes. and basically keep trying to talk crap. Y'all well, let me know what y'all think down below. Using anything you can for clout. All right, let me look at the video real quick and I will be back to report. Shit, look at this picture. They use <laughs> they used Martin's face from, from when he got his ass whooped on that one episode. Um damn, damn. I wonder who these people are. I hope they have some type of affiliation with the people that he actually snitched on. Because if y'all are just some randoms who are beating his ass just because you saw him online and you think he's annoying? Y'all are losers and weird because you're going to likely do some time over somebody who you don't even know and the situation has nothing to do with you. So, yeah, that's weird. But maybe they have some type of affiliation with, you know, the the gang that he snitched on. I don't fucking know what's happening. But, yeah, he may very well get on Instagram Live tonight and, and continue to talk shit and say that, you know, he was sucker punched and, you know, everybody came and jumped him, and he really bought that live. So, fuck out of here. That's probably what he's going to say. So, we'll see. Anyway, interesting story. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!